Fresh Crew. Y'all asked for some early looks, so that's what I'ma bring you today. As we all know, the month of June was super slow on the sneaker side, but July shaping up to be a pretty decent month. I was able to secure a few early pairs, and we are gonna take a look at those today. Of course, I'ma give y'all some in-depth reviews, some on foot, and how to styles on the shoes that we looking at today. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, cause we on a race to 5K. Plus, you don't wanna miss out on none of this upcoming content, so be sure to hit the like button also so you can join a fresh crew. I know that's right. But without further ado, let's jump straight in. Now this first shoe is an honorable mention. You definitely want to go check your finish line in JD Sports because I'm not too sure when this shoe came back out. It is a re-release and that's the Air Max 1 Chili. Now I'm not too sure when these Chili Air Max 1s re-released, but these was a must cop in my book. I didn't know they came out. I just walked into my JD Sports recently and seen these sitting on the shelves. So I had to pick up my size, that's for sure. So this is a fire shoe, it's just a clean colorway. Definitely an OG colorway. The materials look nice. And as y'all know, if y'all been watching Fresh Colorway for any amount of time, I don't like the big bubbles as much as I like the normal Air Max 1. So I do like the Air Max 1 shapes on these. The big bubbles just kind of throw me off a little bit. I did review the big bubbles Safari Sketch, and I wasn't a big fan of those. I know y'all kind of crucified me for saying that, but I definitely put these above that. This is a very dope shoe at a reasonable price. So check out JD Sports and Finish Line if y'all wanna grab these now. But the first actual early pair is a pair that's releasing later on this week, and that's the Nike Foam Posit 1 Metallic Red. Now these Metallic Foam Posit 1s are really nice. Like, they very nice. I already went on foot with mine. I'm gonna have an in-depth review for y'all later on this week. They do drop on the 6th. I think that's like Thursday or Friday of this week. They should have dropped these for 4th of July though, but you know, I'm definitely pulling mines out for 4th of July, so you know. They did do us right, they got the icy outer sole with the red on it. You know, you it's hard to mess up a foam posit one. If that upper is nice, a nice color, nice solid color, they all gonna come out nice. And as you know, when it comes to foam posit ones in my book, these is the best bang for your buck that you can get in the gym shoe world. The retail price is a little higher, but the mileage you can put on these shoes are ridiculous. Like, you can wear these shoes for literally like seven, eight years straight and it shows no sign of wear and tear. So I definitely recommend these. There was a must cop for me. Now this next shoe is definitely a highly anticipated one. And it might be the sneaker of the month now that the Born and Rays won't be dropping. And that's the Jordan 1 OG High UNC Toe. Now these Jordan 1 OG High UNC Toes are super nice. They did give us the dope packaging. We got the light blue box. You know, I like when Jordan brand give us the unique packaging. It just helps the shoes stand out. If you keep your shoes inside of sneaker boxes or if you keep them, you know, inside they box that they come in, you can differentiate it a little easier when they give us a unique box. But back to the shoe, like the shoe is fire. I ain't gonna even lie, in hand, they even nicer than what I thought they was on pictures. Now we have been rumored to be getting a shock drop on this shoe soon, and I'm hearing that it might be later on this week at some point. So be sure that you subscribe to the channel because whenever we do get a shock drop, I'm definitely going to drop y'all with the information. Probably more so over on Instagram. It's Fresh Colorway on Instagram. So follow me over there if you want to stay up to date. It is rumored to be 400 to 600,000 pairs of these. And if that's true, the quality control will kind of vary on this shoe. Now my shoe don't have a whole lot of tumble leather on it. The toe box is a little tumble. The mid panel not so much. It's more of a flat type leather. But, you know, it, it's not too many hiccups on the shoe. It's not like any glue stains or anything messing up these Jordan 1s. It's just not, you know, the same type of material that I thought they would give us. Now, as y'all know, the Jordan 1 OG High has been dying lately. And if you want to pump life back into them, honestly, this is the way that you do it. You give us some shoes like these and keep these colorways coming. Don't flood us with them, but give us, you know, a fire colorway in the Jordan 1 OG High every two to three months, you know, and then the hype will definitely be back. I know we got the Palominos coming later, and I'm hearing that the hype is pretty high on them. A lot of people been paying high resale for them early. I'm gonna wait those out, but if y'all wanna see an early review, just drop it down in the comment section, and I definitely will try to bring y'all an early review of those Palominos. Now the last early shoe is another one that's pretty hype, and people have been talking about it, and that's the Jordan 1 OG Low. Black toe. Now these black toe lows are nice. Like these are very nice. Now the materials are very nice on these. I really do wish the materials on my OG high UNC toes was the same as these. The only gripe that I really have about this shoe, I'ma let y'all know this early, is the back tab of this shoe has like a flat matte type of red leather. It's not like that shiny type leather, you know, that you see on the front toe box here. 
it's more of a matte color. And that's just kind of weird to me. Like, I don't know why they did that. <laughs> why they didn't just give us the regular, you know, the regular type of leather that comes on all Jordan 1 OG highs or OG lows. But I guess they trying to differentiate themselves from the regular black toes and the black toe lows that dropped previously that had the jump man on the back. But this one is still fire. This is a must cop for me. It does come with a spare pair of black laces, but you know how I do it. If it's a Jordan 1 OG high or OG low, I'm gonna probably go with the white laces. It's like a 90% chance. And the white laces just make the shoes pop a little more. Now these only came with the UNC laces and the black laces, but I'm definitely slapping white laces in these too. So these will definitely be getting a lace swap here in the near future. But before we get out of here, I want to hear from the Fresh Crew. Are y'all picking up any of the shoes that I showed early today? Is there any that I left off the list? Drop it down in the comment section below. And I need you to join the Fresh Crew. How you join the Fresh Crew, you click like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and follow us on social media at Fresh Colorway on Instagram. It's your boy Mo signing out for Fresh Colorway, and I'll catch y'all on the next one.